Do you feel the vibes? WXYZ presents live from Kobo Center, the 2018 Red Carpet Charity Preview. And man, you can feel the buzz like never before in Kobo Center. The who's who of the automakers and Detroit get to hobnob around the most touted cars of the year. So welcome to you to the 2018 Red Carpet Charity Preview. I'm Stephen Clark. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. So nice to have you with us this evening. We have got your access to the hottest event of the winter. From the high fashion to the coolest cars, we have certainly got you covered. Our team of reporters is cruising around Kobo right now. Let's hitch up with Malcolm and Alicia. They're right over there in GM. Malcolm. Hey, hello, good evening. We are toasting this tremendous exhibit here at Chevy, the all new Silverado right behind us. We're excited to talk to CEO Mary Barr in just a moment. I'll be speaking with the president of General Motors North America, Mark Royce. He's gonna say uh, something about the cool innovations they have. You can actually order coffee from inside your car now. It's incredible. And we're going to take a virtual experience ride here too. Keenan and Marie. Malcolm and Alicia, we are having the best time at Fiat Chrysler here. Keenan, check out the new Cherokee. Oh, that's right. This is the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. It is gorgeous. Rugged on the outside, strong, but when you get inside, it's like butter. I love the Napa leather interior. It just makes you want to melt. I love it. You know what else you're going to love? All of the things to do at this year's North American International Auto Show. I'm going to take you on a tour to see all the things you can get your hands on. We're also going to uh, speak with the head of Chrysler Design. That'll be a lot of fun. And we're also going to show you a little augmented reality as well. But time now, on. I think, to check out the red carpet with the beautiful Glenda Lewis and Dave Lou Allen. Well, good evening to you, Anne Marie and Keenan, and to all of you. And boy, is it cool that we got to take the first steps on the red carpet. Because look behind look us, it. the doors have opened. Ah! 13,000 people are here dressed in their finest at Kobo for this charity preview. And we're going to focus tonight on fashion. Fashion, and of course, every dollar going right back into our future generation. Brad. It is a fun night tonight at Lincoln because everybody around this stage has been looking for Matthew McConaughey, kind of. He usually rides in this car in the commercials. Vehicle is intentionally locked. I think he has the keys to get in there. Have you guys seen Matthew McConaughey? Oh, yes. Oh, Very yeah. excited. Come He's on. here tonight. He's I don't know tonight. where. <laughs> we don't know where. You're stuck with me tonight. Lincoln has a lot to be proud about tonight, Stephen and Carolyn. We'll get to that in just a little bit. They certainly uh. do, Brad. Looking good over there. In Lincoln, of course, with that Lincoln Navigator, the number one truck of the year for sure. Tonight's events began actually about an hour ago with the official ribbon cutting ceremony. Always a good time. Take a look. Five, four, three, two, one. Cut the ribbon. Look up. Welcome to the 2018 North American International Auto Show Charity Preview. Wow, so exciting to see that. Mayor Mike Duggan and Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly were among those who cut the ribbon alongside tonight's chair. The ribbon was a pearlescent white called Starlight. It is the event's color of the night. Yeah, white actually has been the most popular car color, too, for the last seven years, so I guess there's a little symbolicness in all of that tonight. Tonight, such a special evening. The gala raises millions of dollars for a wide range of children's charities over the years. Matter of fact, it's raised 100 12 million dollars and 41 million over the last Pick 10 years yep. amazing for sure you know the motor city is looking quite fabulous which is great news because we are certainly a global hub that's deciding the auto industry's future in automobiles and of course mobility you know more than 5,000 journalists from all over the world were eager to get their first peek at all the the sleek concepts here some of the muscle cars and a whole lot of pickups check it out Ram rolled out a new 2019-1500. It's 225 pounds slimmer, but still loaded with high-tech safety features. Chevy unveiled a muscular 2019 Silverado. 
It's also lost hundreds of pounds. And Ford showed off its new mid-size pickup, the 2019 Ranger. Steve McQueen's granddaughter drove out in a special edition Bullet Mustang, made famous by the Bullet movie. The V8 packs 475 horsepower, tops out at 163 miles per hour. And Ford teased a Mustang Mach 1 for 2020. Mercedes made a dramatic entrance with its G-Class luxury SUV with the help of Hollywood celebrity Arnold Schwarzenegger. Several stunning concepts were revealed from Lexus's sleek, high-performance, all-electric crossover concept called the LF1 Limitless, made to look like liquid metal, to GAC's eye-catching winged door electric concept called the Enverge. Nissan's cross-motion luxury crossover has impressive styling inside now. And check out the Infiniti Q with a semi-autonomous driving feature called Pro Pilot and Acura's RVX prototype with a turbo engine. A few sedans debuted as well, like the Volkswagen Jetta, the Toyota Avalon, and the Kia Forte. All in all, an amazing array of stunning new cars to see when you visit the Detroit Auto Show. Pretty amazing to think that 17 million cars oh, yeah. have been sold by automakers for the last three years, a record, of course. Joining us right now is Bill Ford, Jr., executive chairman of Ford Motor Company. Hey, thank you, first of all, so much for being our host again this year. We love having you. You're always the best host. You treat us <laughs> so well around here. You guys well, outdo yourself We invite you back every year because you guys do a great job. Well, thank you, and the exhibit looks amazing for sure. Uh, I, I want to talk about one of the big draws of this show happens to be one of the oldest cars here. It's the 50-year-old Bullet Mustang. Yeah. I was curious because, I mean, we kind of grew up in the same era. I remember watching that when I was a little kid, watching the Bullet car with Steve McQueen in it. For me, that was the coolest thing in the world. You're a Ford. What did you think of him wrecking your car? <laughs> Listen, I, that is one of the great scenes of all time. And actually, as a little kid, I used to watch him ride dirt bikes out in the desert, out in uh, Southern California. Uh -huh. And I'd always put my thumb out, hoping he'd give us a ride. I never did. but. Uh, you know, we had his uh, granddaughter, Molly McQueen, yep. here, who did the reveal. She's, she's, she was wonderful. Um, she never met her grandfather, but knew a lot about him. And uh, it was a very emotional thing for her to have this car uh, actually at the yep. show. And not, and not totally restored either. I mean, it looked just like it did when Steve left it. Uh, wow, and, and I know it was a big hit when I was down here covering the oh, auto sure. show last week. So talk about the 2019 Ford Ranger. you got to be excited about that. Well, yeah, it's going to be built here in Michigan, which is fantastic. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a great truck. And, you know, and it's also a real off-road truck, so you can have a lot of fun with it. Let's talk about the future of Ford, where you're heading, the technology with uh, self-driving, the autonomous vehicles. You guys are, have been leading the, the pack on that for years. Yeah, you know, it, it's, a, it's a brave new world now, and uh, everything's changing. You think about, um, for so many years, almost 100 years, not much change on in our industry. Now, um, the ownership model is changing. You know, you've got things like Lyft and Uber and Zipcar, and then you've got uh, uh, electrification of the powertrain. Right. That's changing. Uh, Self-driving vehicles, that's changing. I mean, the way we're going to finance them in the future will all change. So. Uh, every really every piece of our business is going to change dramatically in the next five years. I, th I think it's really exciting. Well, again, we just yeah. want to thank you again for oh, no, letting us be here. Are you kidding? You. We love having and you. And congratulations Thanks. on Always everything Thanks, going Carolyn. on. Thanks, Carolyn. Thanks, Tim. Thanks thank a lot. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All Thanks. right. Hey, we want to have a little fun now, and we want you to weigh in on our interactive polls throughout the show tonight. All you have to do is head to wxyz.com slash vote on your phone or in our app right now to answer our first poll question. And, and here's specifically what we'd like to know from you. What do you like best about this, the charity preview? Do you like the cars? Do you like the fashion? Or are you just into the people watching? We're going to have the answer for you coming up just ahead. Always fun. All right, we're just revving up here at the Red Carpet Charity Preview. Coming up, we're talking about how augmented reality is being used in the cars already on the road and a cruise control where you can actually just take your hands off the wheel. Welcome back to Boat Train. Look at that right there. 51%. This seems kind of appropriate. 51% of you like the cars. 25% like the fashion. And the rest of you are just like watching the people. Hey, we like them all, though. Uh, keep your phone close. We want you to weigh in on tonight's fashion. By the way, what do you got going here? 
Uh, this is this is just a beautiful dress just that uh, from Ramo uh, from Roma Sposa in Birmingham. Just a beautiful dress. You know, Anna Castaldi always dresses us for yeah. this evening for the yeah. charity preview. We thank her for sure. Let's head to the Bridgestone red carpet with Dave and Glenda. Glenda, you look amazing. Davey Lou, you look handsome. And so many people on the red carpet look spectacular tonight, guys. Oh, Carolyn, thank you. Knock it out the park because you are gorgeous. Well, and I always think I look much better. Thank you very much. Standing next <laughs> to my uh, stunning partner. Thank and, you. Partner. And, and you are stunning. And thank you. there are a lot of women here looking just fabulously gorgeous, including our own women of Channel 7, and there's one person largely responsible for that. Well, all of the people here tonight, it looks like they've spent hours upon hours getting ready, but how long did it take you? We want you to vote. Pick up your phone, wxyz.com slash vote. One hour, couple hours, five hours, how long did it take you? Three long hours. Oh, <laughs> it helps when you have help, and especially the help of the queen of fashion, Anna of Roma Sposa. She is Roma Sposa. Thank you so much for joining us and dressing the ladies of Channel 7 every year. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. You are looking like a Barbie doll. Talk to me about the fashion this year, because major statements were made on the red carpet this year. Yes, especially at the Emmys yes. and um, I mean the Me Too movement, yes. I support them yes. deeply with all my heart, but I also believe that uh, for the women that wants to rebuild their self-esteem and their confidence, just to go through fashion because fashion makes everyone, it's an embellishment and every woman looks always good, it feels good, that's what it's about. So it's a Cinderella, you want to be Cinderella, you want to be Cinderella now. <laughs> and you were saying that black was the power color. A lot of people were calling you after seeing what happened on the Golden Globes. But there are some trends out here. The high-low, couple sparkles. Yes, high-low dresses, absolutely. And also like jumpsuits with coats, any kind of like shape and color and the one shoulders. And then, of course, the ball gowns. Ball gowns. I mean, any. Look at this. I mean, doesn't she look stunning? Stunning, stunning. Yeah. Right from Italy. Yeah. On a very, very beautiful, thank well, you. That's, that's a lot it, of lady. eyes have been on Michigan's uh, auto industry all week long. Lieutenant Governor Brian Kelly uh, joins us right now. Thank you so much for stopping by. Great to be with you. The first question, obviously, we talked to Bill Ford a minute ago, and he was talking about the changing future of the automobile industry, where it's aiming, autonomous vehicles being one part of it. Now, the, this is, requires a partnership sometime on infrastructure. How is the state helping them out? Well, there's infrastructure and then also talent. Those are the two really key pieces. So Michigan, we're way ahead of the curve on infrastructure that can talk to vehicles, V to I technology in our roads. We've got hundreds of miles already down and more uh, to come. So that's that research and development, that testing that's happening here, you can get more than anywhere else. And of course, you may have noticed we have four seasons, <laughs> including snow-covered and slippery yes. roads. It's really important for the testing to be done in places like Michigan. Can Absolutely. we get potholes to talk to the cars? That'd oh, be good. Boy, that'd be wouldn't what? that be that'd nice? Be uh, speaking of talent, though, Fiat Chrysler is going to invest $1 billion right, right here in Michigan, right? That's going to bring about 2,500 jobs. you got to be excited about that. Oh, so thrilled with it. And, it. and it really highlights how important it is for us to bring skilled trades back to our, our both our primary education system but also workforce development. We've added over half a million new jobs in our state in the last seven years, so we have to expand the size of our workforce, connect more people without opportunity to the skills that they need to take advantage of everything the world has to offer. The auto industry is a perfect place to do it. Metal to the metal. Sure is. Lieutenant Governor, thank you so much thank for stopping you. by and have a great time this evening. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Enjoy the show for sure. All right, let's head on over to GM where Alicia Smith is with CEO Mary Barra. Alicia. Always a ple thank you, Stephen and Carolyn. Always a pleasure to talk with you, Mary. Uh, Fortune Magazine number one most powerful woman in the world third year running congratulations thank you very much and it's great to be here with you tonight at the auto show I mean it is a fantastic display this exhibit here at Chevy is outstanding and I know a lot of people are thinking 2017 a success congratulations well, thank you so much. I'm, I'm re really proud of the team because we had a really strong performance in 17. We'll talk more about it when we announce earnings. And we're looking forward to a really strong 18 as well. And, you know, what's behind you is going to be one of the reasons that we're so excited to launch the new Chevy Silverado. I mean, it's a beauty. It really is. And the truck market is quite competitive, but you are there competing hard. 
Absolutely, and it, it's all about the customer. And why we're so excited about the, the Chevy Silverado is the fact that we're going to have eight models that cut across, you know, reach more customers than ever before. And every single aspect of the vehicle has been designed with the customer in mind. So I couldn't be more proud of the engineers, the designers, and the marketing team that put this truck on, on the road. Yeah. Safety is a big thing with your team. Absolutely, and, and for this new vehicle, uh, we uh, had over seven million miles of testing and validation to, to, to be ready to put this vehicle on the road. Or this I love road. it. I love it. Now, okay, we have to talk autonomous vehicles. Everybody's buzzing about the whole, hey, look, Ma, no hands, because you're proposing autonomous vehicles with no wheels and no pedals out in fleet form next year? Absolutely, we're looking at deploying an autonomous vehicle fleet uh, in, a com in a commercial, you know, for commercial use in a city. It'll be geofenced, but we think it's it's very important to get it out there and have the vehicle continue to learn. So it's exciting, we're on track, and so we were able to show everybody our track four vehicle. Uh, so we've had four vehicles out in about 18 months, so the advancements are going quickly. I mean, it is the future uh, that we're going to be seeing automotive, uh, yeah, autonomous vehicles. Absolutely, and, and one of the key reasons is it's safer. You know, when you look at today in the United States, 90% of the fatalities that happen are caused by human error. So if we can have a, a, a system that drives the vehicle safely, it, it benefits everyone. It really does. I hope you'll join us for your virtual reality experience on the other side of your exhibit later on tonight. That looks like so much fun. They are having a lot of fun, that's they for are. sure. They are, they are, of course. Mary Barra. Chairman and CEO, we appreciate your time. Stephen, Carolyn, back to you. Wow, thank you so much, Alicia. Still love to see a woman at the helm of GM. Such a powerful position for sure. Hey, uh, did you see my movie poster? Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, check it out right here. Coming up next, you're going to see my audition tape. We're going to have more, in fact, look at that. Do I look bad? You look bad to the yeah, bone. Yeah, I'm bad, bad to the bone. To the bone. We're looking forward to Ford's fun, interactive bullet exhibit when we come right back. I got behind the wheel. And that looks really cool. I do yeah. recognize you. Looking like a, a movie star or something. I had a chance right there to have a little fun inside a movie movie studio exhibit here at Ford. Look at you. You get a chance to actually film the scenes that are edited into the trailer for a bullet movie. Of course, it mimics the iconic scene from the 1968 movie. Now, too. that is cool and something to keep with you. Did That's you see that, Mike? Did you see that, that look <laughs> on my face, that motivation? You were in there. You there. were in the moment, Stephen. <laughs> uh, that's a must-see car here at the Auto Show, and I know it's going to be a hit when people come down to the Auto Show. So many people were gathered around there all week long. That's what I could see. It's a cool thing, and one of the guys behind putting that back there is with us right now, Jim Hackett. Thank you so much for joining. This is, of course, the president and CEO of Ford. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Congratulations. you, Congratulations. Steve, I saw the G-forces. Oh, did you that, say you see it? I you saw the see, oh, power man, of that I was Mustang. moving on that thing. All right, so speaking of G-forces, you're behind the wheel of Ford right now, and you had to hit the road running here. How's it been for it's you been for your great. first show? Work? You know, it's it's been a little over six months in the role, and so I, I'm just so proud of the team. We put together a really great exhibit. A week ago, we were in Las Vegas at CES. Whole different kind of crowd than oh, yeah. comes here, yeah. and they actually hold together uh, in terms of where we're going in the future. Talk about the future, and especially about Ford building like a future city with a cloud platform. Explain that to me. Well, it's the, the issue is the cars are inevitably going to get really smart. They're going to get so smart that we don't need a driver. Now, Ford believes people won't give up their vehicles. We're not trying to design a world where you don't own vehicles. They'll be so powerful and smart that maybe you just won't crash. But it'll be something you'll still love to drive like that bullet. And then they'll marry with the world that's getting smarter. So for example, you know you burn more fuel trying to find a parking spot than you do just being tuck, uh, stuck in traffic. Is that right? And so the car and the parking spot in the future can talk to each other and you won't have to drive around to look for it. Well, that's what that whole bullet thing was about. I was racing yeah. for a parking spot right there. Yeah. Let's talk more about that. We talked to the Lieutenant Governor about the investment Michigan's got in infrastructure. Yeah. That's the, the, the environment talking to the car car-to-car -car technology. I mean, this is all stuff that we've, we've, we've never thought about as drivers, but now here it is, you're putting them in our cars. And you know, Steve, it's just recently that the technology's gotten to this point because, of, you know why? Because of gaming chips. If, you, if, you're, if you're kids or you know people that play games, they're so sophisticated, the power in those chips and the data that's coming from uh, the car are married together. So this is why it's a breakthrough right now. 
Well, Mr. Hackett, we say congratulations again. So glad you're at the helm of Ford, and we yeah. know you're going to do great things. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. We ran out of time. We're going to talk about the Jim Harbaugh U of M thing. I right. want to tell right. everybody, don't <laughs> worry. We got the best coach in the world. Right there. They'll there be back, go. right? Thank you, sir. There you go. Go blue. All right, now, let's head over to Malcolm Maddox over at General Motors. Hi, Malcolm. Hey, Carol and Steven, I'm just getting the scoop on this amazing vehicle, the new Silverado. I'm here with Mark Royce, of course. As you guys know this man. Well, tell me about this vehicle. Well, Malcolm, you know, we, we showed this uh, Saturday night, and this is a, a vehicle that is very important to the industry, but also to General Motors primarily and our customers. And we really, this is a ground up uh, redesign, and we've taken 450 pounds out of this vehicle. Uh, on our mixed material strategy, and that's from an already uh, very efficient vehicle. And what that enables us to do is, is give people a really fun truck to drive, but you know, fundamentally our bed is high strength steel, roll form steel, and uh, we, we think we have the, the best pickup truck bed, which is the working part of this in the industry. We also think we have the, the best package in the industry, so we've improved our, our second row on our crew cabs, and uh, we've got um, a couple of new engine uh, offerings. That we're gonna offer six total, but the two we talked about and the three we talked about here the other night are our, our new inline six diesel, which is an in-house design that we know is gonna be industry best because some of our competition have already talked about their specs. We haven't done that quite yet, but our inline diesel is something that's gonna be made, we just announced in Flint, Michigan. So that's a big deal for us. What about the cylinders? What you're doing with the cylinders on this vehicle? Yes. Well, dynamic fuel management or dynamic skip fire is something that no one else has done. The software that operates cylinders um, from either you know 1.7, uh, actually two cylinders all the way to eight, Today we have something that drops off four cylinders from the eight when you're on the highway. This is something that's almost infinitely variable for amount of throttle versus the load that you put in the back of a pickup truck. So we're gonna see big efficiency gains for us in this segment, and we're gonna do it that's transparent to the customer. And this is a game changer. It is, it is, it really is. Um, our, 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 our steel frame and our high street strength steel frame is something that is 10% more torsional rigidity than anybody else. We've also got a power tailgate. So you can you can operate the tailgate with a, your key fob um, inside the vehicle, or you can walk right up to the vehicle. A, a total power. redesign. Total redesign. Mark Royce, it is a pleasure speaking you, with sir. you. Stephen and Carolyn, you. I think I found my new vehicle. <laughs> I like I, it too. Can the, we share it? <laughs> the fact you made your choice in a place with all these cars is amazing. And I hope by now you have your phone or your tablet ready because you, we want you to head to wxyz.com slash vote and want you to vote your thoughts on autonomous vehicles. What do you think about autonomous vehicles? We'll be checking out that question in about two minutes. In two minutes for sure. Plus a look inside the very sophisticated Lincoln Navigator. Now that is yeah. my vehicle. Uh, we'll give you the heads up on the augmented reality feature making you safer out there on the road. Now, you may soon be sharing the road with self-drive. We should get acquainted like oh my All right oh my now God, I can say I this you may soon be sharing the road with self driving cars. So what do you think about autonomous vehicles? Answer our question on WXYZ com slash vote. <laughs> All right, do you love them? Do you like them? Or are they scary? The answers you can see are coming in live right now. It looks like scary is kind of winning. I know, one. right? I think a lot of people this whole idea of cars driving themselves scares them, but I mean think about it. I mean you know, the, the, the computers probably will make fewer mistakes than some of the yeah, drivers on the Yeah, but road. like anything else, you know we're going to have to get used to them, meaning you try it out first, and then when you say, yeah, I've made it through a year, then I'm right, right. there with you. Deal. All right. Well, rave reviews are coming in for Lincoln. That's what we find. Brad Galley, what have you found over there, Bradley? Some hardware. Where there are cars, there is competition. The North American Truck of the Year, the Lincoln Navigator. We were trying to show off and really give you the whole lay of the land, but there's too many people out here looking at it. This color pops, the vehicle pops. It is the talk of the entire section over here with us, and for good reason.
our head-up display, which is the biggest and brightest of any head-up display um, in its class. It's right in line with your vision on the road, so you don't have to take your eyes off the road at all. You can change its position, its brightness, even the content. Lincoln brand manager Molly Cosgrove says the Navigator includes high-tech safety features too. Things like adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, and our 360-degree camera. For such a big vehicle, if you're in a tight parking spot, it's really helpful to get in and out. Even if you're not in the driver's seat, the Navigator will keep all of its passengers comfortable. We have heated and ventilated seats along with the massage functionality in our perfect position seats and features like our Link and Play, which is our rear seat entertainment, where you can actually stream content from your personal device on the screens in the second row. So we've added a wireless charging station. The iPhone 8 or 10 or most Android devices will be able to wirelessly charge. Starting this month, Lincoln owners get a membership to the Clear program. Clear allows you to save time at um, airports or big events at stadiums. When you approach the security line, you actually just need your fingerprint. You don't even need your ID to go in, um, and you'll quickly um, scan your boarding pass. And by doing that, allows you to skip the entire security line at the airport. Cosgrove says when she's driving a Navigator, she can't help but smile. And when you step on the pedal and you feel that 450 horsepower engine, it just effortlessly glides down the road. Paul Sabatini, the owner of Lincoln of Troy, is here. And if you could see all the cameras that are taking pictures right now, yeah, why not show a few? A few of them have dropped, but you can see the attention here, Paul on this car, the award is here, the people are around it. How special is it to see this thing on the floor? Oh, it's wonderful. Well, you know, we're so fortunate. We got the truck of the year um, and the Navigator really deserved it. I mean, we've been so fortunate. This vehicle is just unbelievable. It really is. So happy to get it this year. So thanks. The, the dealership, I know you take so much pride in it and everything that you do. What makes your location tick the way it does so well? Uh, you know, it's really my entire staff. I mean, I'm so fortunate because I've been involved in the auto show for the last five years. I'm so fortunate to be able to have great people that work at the dealership and they really care about our customers. And, you know, that's what it really, that's what it's all about. The I mean, Navigator, God. as we're looking through it, Paul, and when you see Black Label next to it, you guys are a Black Label dealership. And I know that's a ratchet up. It is, and uh, we were the largest, uh, second largest black label dealer in the country last year, so it's, we're really fortunate. Black Label's done so much for Lincoln, and the Navigator has just been wonderful for us. There's a black label dealership, and then there's this black tie that's caught, catching about as much attention as the Navigator. Paul Sabatini, thank you so much. Guys, take it away. Stand by. You know, we are just having a blast here at Fiat Chrysler with all of these lovely folks, but check out the 2018 Jeep Wrangler. It is filled with lots of unique features like this Sky One Touch Power Top. Oh, hey, Kenan. And I found it. The entire top of this Wrangler rolls back. It's a convertible Wrangler. It is a fantastic feature, and this new Wrangler also has a lot of technology, including some that will make your drive better on road or off. The all-new Wrangler is really just a modern interpretation. It's an evolution of the original over 76 years ago. I'm obviously much more advanced, but instantly recognizable. Head of Jeep Design Mark Allen says the 2018 Wrangler was inspired by the 1973 CJ5. My favorite Jeep, this one. One of the really cool features that we retained on the new Wrangler is the folding windshield. It's four bolts, probably three minutes of your time and the windshield goes down. You'll see little details of this, the hood around the headlights, the grill, put into the brand new Jeep, which I think is really cool. We've been listening for a long time uh, and observing customers who have the vehicles now. We put a lot of that into the new vehicle. Just the way the doors work, we improve the visibility tremendously on the vehicle. We also have now a new power top. They want a, a way to open the vehicle up anytime they want, push of a button. The director of Jeep Marketing, Scott Tallon, says there are a lot of tech and safety upgrades available too. 
We have the, our award-winning next generation 8.4 inch Uconnect screen. Advanced safety content like uh, available blind spots. We now have a backup camera with uh, dynamic grid lines, rear park assist, or something that's unique that we've been able to do for the Wrangler is add off-road pages. So what it does is give the driver real-time telemetry about the, the pitch, the roll, the angle that they're on, whether on the obstacle to give them real-time feedback of what's happening with the vehicle. So whether you go for the Sport, Sport S, the Rubicon, or the Sahara, Alan says you'll be driving down the road in an icon. People driving Wranglers kind of pity everybody else in a car. Now that is impressive. Keenan, I think I'm ready to go off-roading. And if you are, like this uh, Rubicon, look at those tires. Those are 33-inch tires, the largest tires ever offered from the factory on a Rubicon. You can handle anything. You can handle anything, and I think Stephen and Carolyn can handle anything. Let's send it back over to them in Ford. Hey, guys. I clearly need to trick out my 10-year-old Jeep. Oh, yeah. I Did mean, you see that that top that rolled back? I know, that, that would be cool there. to have because you don't have to keep changing it out and stuff. That'd be really cool. We could make it a Channel 7 family day and all jump into that Jeep <laughs> uh, and go hanging go. on the beach or something. Perfect. <laughs> Coming up next, we're talking about the season's hottest fashion trends. We hope you have your phones and tablets on WXYZ.com slash vote. We want you to weigh in on the red carpet looks right now. That's coming up next. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You can take a look at which red carpet trend you like right now. Welcome back to the Red Carpet Security Preview. 100 cases of champagne, 300 cases of wine have been uncorked for tonight's event. You can have to trust me on this because I counted. I'm sure. People are ready to celebrate, especially celebrate the auto industry yep. and celebrate what we're doing for kids this evening. All right. Look at this. This right here is the signature. Oh, we got a mint too. Take your mint there with you Look right at here. This. Each year we have a signature uh, Oh, uh, do we have to take here. a mint too? This is John Ray brought it in for us, John. Thank you Thank so very much. Thank you very much. This is a Starlight Express. It is a mix of Bacardi rum, good, doesn't it? rum chata, which uh -huh. gives it the white pearlescent look and triple sec. All right, so while you take a taste of that, Stephen, I can't do that. Everyone at home, get ready for our next poll. Dave and Glinda are on the Bridgestone red carpet right Wait, now. Right up. You want to try it? Okay, yeah, what? I need to know what fashion trends yeah, what? are turning heads tonight, guys. For, for us, keep just we've away. seen Woo! some of everything. Carolyn and Stephen, we've seen it all. And so many beautiful things out here tonight. The trend is different. We have our fashion expert, Mariana Carroll, here to tell us about what's hot there behind us. Oh, well, we were looking for three very specific trends. We were looking for one shoulder looks. We were looking for beautiful pastel shades. And, and also we were looking for high low. High low hemlines, which the queen of the red carpet is wearing. Which looks beautiful, always on Thank you so much, Marianne. Always on So let's talk about the pastels. Now, why this year? The reason that pastels are so important is because the designer runway shows for spring of 2018 is going to be all pastel shades. That's the hot color to look for. So it's not only for your evening gowns, but for the ladies that are, are watching, look for pastel colors in all of your new looks for spring and summer. And we have not let that one shoulder go. I mean, no. it, that's been around for a while. It has a lot of the shoulder detail. If it's one shoulder off the shoulder, has been very dominant in the fashion scene. But particularly for evening gowns, because it's so elegant, it has that Grecian look to it, that we saw a lot of beautiful one shoulders. We also saw it um, on the Golden Globes. So I thought that that would be something we'd be seeing here at the uh, at our Academy Awards for Detroit. It is. Which our is special the night, show. our yes. auto prom, and our night for charities for children. And yes. Mariana, thank you so much. We have to ask you, which look do you prefer? Is it the one shoulder? Is it the pastel? The high low? The high maybe? low, yes. <laughs> so we want to know, wxyz.com yep. slash vote. And uh, we want to know what on the megaphone on our poll what you think as we are on the red carpet here at Charity Preview, the Bridgestone red carpet. I am loving Anne Marie's cutouts. Dressed That's one of my favorites. 49 for the one shoulder, 12 for uh, Pastel, pastel and, oh, and 39. The one shoulder. So the one shoulder. The one shoulder is a, still very popular. I think everybody is liking that look yeah. because it really shows the decollete and it's a beautiful part of a woman's body. Well, thank you, Mariana. Absolutely. We certainly appreciate it. And I think Anne Marie does have on both. She's got the cutout and yeah. the one shoulder. There you go. On point. Anne Marie. 
I want to show you guys this all new Ram. You have to check it out. The biggest Ram yet. And uh, speaking of the big news, you know, we're joined by a big guy in the world of design. We're joined oh, yeah. by Ralph Shields, head of uh, FCA Design or Design Head for FCA. Ralph, thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. Tell us a little bit about what is new in this uh, Ram. Literally everything. I mean, we really refine the truck. It's, it's, it is bigger. We have the biggest cabinet segment now, four more inches of legroom. Uh, I think the exterior is, is much more refined. It's bolder, but yet handsome in a way. We try to make it kind of grow up. You know, trucks have changed in 10 years when we did the last one. Uh, they become uh, really an extension of people's personalities, but also luxury devices. We can't seem to find the ceiling of the truck industry. But one of the biggest features, hopefully you could, uh, people will come this weekend and see it, is the new 12-inch screen, the technology. And we're seeing luxury car-like technology now in our trucks. And you know what else everyone is talking about? The new Jeep. Yes, the Wrangler. It's here. It was launched in uh, California, but it's here for the first time in Detroit. So people have never seen it yet. That is all new as well. Every single bolt, and it's only made down the river here, you know, at Toledo. So it's really cool to see all this Midwest activity going and new product coming on. Tell us about the interior in that. It was fun. We tried to keep the, the nostalgic feel, but it, once again, bring the text. So we have the new uh, Uconnect system in there. Uh, every square inch is, is brand new. The switches are new. There's a lot of Easter eggs. We like to put some little discoveries for owners to find over time, you know, because that's how much we love the product. We really, uh, it's a, an icon for us, as is the Ram and the Wrangler. And a final question, you mentioned yeah. uh, Toledo, but uh, where is this Ram built? Sterling Heights, and uh, we have a brand new plant. We completely reconfigured what we call the Shap plant in Sterling Heights. Uh, and uh, as you know, the heavy duty is now going to, to Warren, right? So right there in that center, we're going to have a lot of brand new product. And people are going to be busy because the word out so far is pretty good. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Thank Ralph you. Shields, head of design for thank FCA. You. Appreciate your time. Let's Shout check out in. to the Mopar owners, please. <laughs> Shout out, homegrown. We love it. Alicia, over to you. Oh, thank you, Amory and Keenan. I just had to bow in the glow of the pop of color here, this beautiful red all-wheel drive Equinox. I mean, you can touch and feel these cars. You can sit in them. That's the great thing about being in a showroom, because we are. We are in the Metro Detroit Chevy Dealers showroom. Scott LaRich representing this fine organization. Great Thank to see you. you. So glad to be here representing your Metro Detroit Chevy Dealers. And I'll tell you, we have a lot to talk about today with Chevrolet being the most awarded car company three years in a row. Bravo, it really is fantastic. And let's talk trucks for a minute. I mean, really, there is, the options are out there. The Silverado, all new design from the ground up. That's right, 100 years of Chevrolet trucks. And Chevrolet is the most dependable, longest lasting pickup on the road. And I'll tell you what, that's not gonna stop because the 2019 is redesigned from the ground up and it's gonna be the best Silverado ever behind you. That's it's gorgeous. right. It's beautiful. <laughs> We're so fortunate. And right now, if you go to ChevyDetroit.com, you can find the closest Chevy dealer to you and find out what the great deals are on those Silverados. That's fantastic. Come here and check them out in this showroom and then go to the dealership and see them in person. Now, I do want to ask you, because the Metro Detroit Chevy dealers, they do so much in the community too, philanthropically. They're out there helping so many people. You know, we really are more than just a dealership or dealerships selling cars and trucks. We're part of the community. We support things like Capuchin Soup Kitchen, for example, the bottomless toy chest, uh, your first responders, and it goes on and on because we care about your communities and we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep it rolling with Chevrolet. I feel it, I feel it. Thank you so much. Scott LaRich from the Metro Detroit Chevy Dealers, and he did tie his own bow tie, Stephen and Carol. Yeah. It's very oh, nicely done. Now yeah. that is very impressive. And you know that's really what tonight is really all about. He's talking well, about the community and raising money for kids and children's charities is such a wonderful and thing. And we're so fortunate to have the auto dealers who are so ingrained in the communities and the auto companies that are so ingrained and they, and they got deep pockets. Absolutely. And they help out in our community, it's a great thing. Well, coming up next, another sweet ride coming your way. Watch Brad take a hands-off approach to driving the new Cadillac CT6. We're gonna show you this hands-free technology, and trust me, when Brad drives, hands off the wheel's a good thing. <laughs> Oh, look at that right there. Check out Brad Galley on this electric scooter called an M Motor. It was seen zipping around Sobo all of this week. That's a cool little vehicle. It has a 16 mile range. It'll go up to 16 miles an hour. The scooter is one of the more than 240 brands taking part in automobility. 
where companies are showing off their mobility ideas, however strange they may be. You know, the coolest thing about that, you can literally take that on an airplane yeah. with you. You just fold it up, take the batteries take the battery out, out, and out there it, you go. Boom, off you go. And it's only like $1,500. Yep. All right, Brad's now with another hot commodity in Cadillac. Brad? Everybody's checking out the CTSV right in the middle of Cadillac, but that scooter wasn't the only thing I got to ride this week. There are going to be some gold, some big finds within Cadillac. When you walk back behind the scenes and you see an Escalade, that's always going to draw attention. The fine people at GM actually let me get really close to a Cadillac this year. The closest I have ever been to a Cadillac personally. The CTS-6 here, if you look back, Super Cruise. That means if you go on the wheel and notice the top of that right here lights up, that means it's going to actually drive me. Were my hands sweating? You better believe it. But when I got behind the wheel, I started to trust this vehicle almost immediately. You can start it up. Make your way on to 375. I was a little nervous coming into the day, to be honest with you. And the reason? I'm about to take my hands off the wheel of a Cadillac CT6 while driving on the highway. And the people at GM are encouraging me to do so. It's been many, many years in development and in the making. And so it's great to see Super Cruise come to market as the first hands-free driving assistance technology for the freeway. A uh, lot of blood, sweat, and tears behind this. So our engineers are very proud of the system. Just center right now, you can hit the button. All right, here we go. Yeah. Oh, see, it just <laughs> Once you... Yeah, I drifted. Yes. A warning from my wife, she's the better driver. I'm not the greatest driver. <laughs> so, thank you for the warning. <laughs> so now you see that your adaptive cruise and your super cruise is set. Now you can let go. Oh, on. The car takes over. Powered by radars, cameras, electronically controlled brakes, and strong GPS technology that guides the steering. It's not meant for drivers to fall asleep and wake up at their destination. The Retina Attention System monitors the driver's eyes and face, keeping you in check to make sure you're paying attention. I'm feeling really comfortable right now. It didn't take long at all. There you go. GM has mapped out all the highways in the U.S. and Canada, and that's where Super Cruise works. I feel like a geek, like a nerd, I'm just sitting here smiling. This is great. It is absolutely incredible to get behind the wheel of a car drive 70 miles an hour on I-75 in the middle of daytime traffic in Detroit and to actually let go. But the car grabs the center of the lane. As you saw, I had a little trouble with there, Stephen and Carolyn, but once it finally takes control, I'm telling you, if I had the pocket to do it, I would jump into one of these cars permanently. <laughs> it is fantastic. Stephen will give you that money, Bradley. There Don't you worry go. about All it. All right, I hey, like that idea. Brad, I just want to let you know, I, I have seen you drive and taking your hands off the wheel cannot be a bad thing in any case. I, I really appreciate self-driving technology. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Well, virtual reality and mixed reality are already a, a big part of the auto industry. Yeah, coming up next, Keenan's going to put on the hollow lens to see how mixed reality is helping design the cars of the future. Thunder. Thunder. Kids were laughing in my classes while I was scheming for the masses. Who do you think you are? I'm the one early morning in the dawn. Know you want to ride now. This one, yeah. And like welcome. Oh, yeah. I know. Look at this. People <laughs> look great. Cars look great. Welcome back. North American International Auto Show spans more than 2.4 million square feet. Inside the show, you can see more than 750 vehicles. So if you're shopping for an automobile, you'll find it here. 750 vehicles, and I think they spent $400 million putting this whole mm -hmm. display in Kovo together. It's pretty amazing. Designers and engineers have worked around the clock to make each and every one of these cars quite special for you. Yeah, let's check in with Keenan and Anne Marie, who have more on how car design is changing right before our eyes. Keenan, Anne Marie. Oh, without a doubt. And some of those changes, you know, they're making it to the roads. Right now, we're in front of the Ford F-150 Lariat Super Crew. You know, this is all the muscle of a truck, but it's a real refined ride, and that doesn't come easy. That's right. Uh, the designers really have to work hard, and Ford is looking forward to creating the design studio of the future. And it means designers and engineers have to do a reality check of sorts. <laughs> HoloLens is a mixed reality device. It mixes the physical world with the digital world in terms of holograms. What we're able to show is designs or engineering requirements on a physical vehicle. Instead of having it on a clay model or having it on a 2D computer monitor, 
we're able to look at it in 3D holograms on top of the physical car. HoloLens was one of those technologies that Microsoft was working on, and we worked with them to deliver an app. Everything we want to do in the Ford design is focus on the customer and the design of the car for the customer. So what we're able to do by seeing this at full scale and being able to walk around it, we're able to think of it from the customer's standpoint. One of the, the, the best things about HoloLens is to get the good design faster. Try more things or get uh, the compression of that process down to a smaller time frame. I stepped into the mixed reality world to see it for myself. It's wonderful to be able to actually change you know, the grill and change the, the face of the car. When I started at Ford, a technology like HoloLens wasn't even being dreamt of. And young kids in general growing up, they are going to be so native to this stuff, right? We're, we're already having to plan for a designer who we hire into the company who is uh, a savvy with VR and AR and MR, all these different realities, right? Inclusive of our real reality. The studio of the future needs to have these technologies integrated. It's going to be crazy and fun. That is just fascinating. So, Keenan, how was it? It was amazing. You literally felt like you could reach out and touch it, cool. but you couldn't because it was augmented reality. It really was a, a mind trip, and they're going to do great things with that. Puts a whole new perspective on everything when you Without think about the design of cars. All right, Stephen and Carolyn, back to you. Pretty amazing. It almost looks like something out of Star Trek or something. You know, the things we saw long ago and you never thought would really become reality, but today, it's there. Flying cars, they actually have one here. Yes. A flying car. I've been wanting one for years. Oh, have you now. Speaking of technology, how about this? Ordering on the go. Coming up next, a cool new feature in GM Cars that helps you uh, skip the line for coffee and reserves you a table for dinner. I can't take my eyes off of it. And welcome back to the Red Carpet Charity Preview right here at Detroit's biggest automotive event of the year, and I, for one, I've never had so much fun. I, I, I can tell. You, yeah. If you could see him behind the scenes, he's over here snapping selfies and hanging out. I'm having a great time. And People they, are having a great time. They are having a great time. And isn't that wonderful to see? Yes, I mean, it is. so many good things happening in the auto industry, and it's, it's amazing to celebrate it on a night like this. Now, if you want to see, touch, and dream about owning a high-tech vehicle, the Detroit International Auto Show, of course, is the place to see hundreds of them all under one roof. What's that, 750? Yeah. Is oh, that yeah, what you just told me? All over. The, everywhere you turn, it's a car. Malcolm Maddox is by one of them right now at the Metro Detroit Chevy dealer showroom. Malcolm? Right, this is the all-new Chevy Traverse, and of course the auto show is about bringing you the biggest and the best and the newest technology. GM has done it once again. You've heard of surround sound. This vehicle has 360 degree surround vision. So with your backup assist camera, you could only see behind you. Now you can see all around. They have cameras mounted underneath the side view mirrors in the back, also cameras mounted in the front. So as you're parking, as you're worrying about a kid or someone who's parked next to you, you have a total bird's eye view of the vehicle. But that's not the only thing. One of the other cool new features that you can order is something that's called Marketplace. This is a commerce platform and it allows you to do business or with many other companies, a growing list of companies, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, you can order coffee right from inside your car. So you're driving along, you need to get a room, you can pull over and actually make arrangements for that. Of course, the technology is one aspect of the vehicles, but the look, that is something that needs to be seen, to be beheld, and it is being seen in the best possible light inside this auto showroom flow floor. Alicia? I tell you what, the folks from IBEW Local and Nika know how to make this place look like a showroom on steroids. I mean, just look at it. All these folks here are amazed at what they can see. It takes 12 weeks to put this all together and only two weeks to tear it down. A colossal undertaking. Here's a look at what it takes to get this show up and running. The North American International Auto Show is a world-class event in every sense of the word. And this year, Kobo Center will again show off its striking renovations. The three-story atrium, ballroom, and additional meeting space give the facility increased functionality and style, making Kobo a world-class convention center. But to get that space to the showroom quality for the auto show takes months of work from skilled trades professionals, including the highly skilled electrician of IBEW Local 58 and NECA of Southeastern Michigan. There's over 100 booths here. They all have their own power. And it's just amazing the process to watch all this come together. 
it's important to have qualified contractors and electrical workers because this is one of the most complex shows and electricity is dangerous and complicated. The skilled electricians of IBEW Local 58 are responsible for installing electrical and lighting, cable, and other technical infrastructure so the high-tech displays for each automaker shine the spotlight on the hottest vehicles unveiled. In fact, it takes a team of hundreds of skilled electricians and other tradesmen and women working seemingly around the clock to create this showroom space. The reason, it is a commitment to the community. Cobo Center is very important to the city of Detroit and to the surrounding region. It's really part of the revitalization of the city and we're extremely proud to be part of that process. And all those hours and the behind the scenes hard work make this show a stunning success. And just the lighting alone, if you think about it, thousands of lights have been installed to put that beautiful car that you are in love with on display. One of my favorite things, this two-story LED wall, I had my husband go up there and gotta put his hand up to see how tall it was. It's just absolutely amazing. Also amazing, the red carpet with Dave and Glenda. It has been a lovely time, Alicia. Hey, I'll take this one in that color green. <laughs> Can we make that happen? Sounds sir? good to me. Yeah, anything you like. Tonight. It's, it's a beautiful it's a car. Night. Yeah, it is. for sure. Jim Bella, longtime friend. We actually worked together more years ago than either of us <laughs> care to admit at this point. But Jim's gone on to, to bigger and better things. He's president of the Ford Motor Company Fund. And for our audience, Jim, explain briefly what the fund is. Well, so the fund is the philanthropic arm of the company, and we're really committed to making people's lives better in communities like Detroit. Well, we're standing in the hub. Ford has such an incredible, beautiful display this year. What's next for the Ford Fund in Detroit? Well, so we really want to make sure that everybody is is sharing in, the, in all the good things that are happening, not only in Detroit, but in Ford Motor Company. So ways that we can transform lives of people, tiny homes project that we're doing with Cass Community Services. We got a smart bench project that we're going to bring to Detroit that'll give folks access to Wi-Fi, be able to charge their phones that might not have another opportunity, connect homeless people with the services they need. So there's a lot going on and Ford's a lot more than just the cars and trucks that we build. Well and what's, yeah. what you do is so significant as for all of the foundations and philanthropy in this city through bankruptcy and beyond to get us where we want to go as a city. Yeah, you know, it's amazing. You look out, Dave, at all the people that are here tonight, and it just shows what a generous community it is. And I think we have more uh, collaboration between the philanthropic sector right now, the government, corporations like Ford, and that's what it's going to take really to move us to the next level. And again, we want to make sure that everybody in Detroit, everybody in our region, not just the people that are here tonight, share in the success that we are all having. Well, we thank you so much, Jim. I'll try not to drive away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been, I already took the keys out of this one. Okay, so, uh, you knew sure. I was coming. Yeah. Thank Carol you, Jim. And Steven, oh. back to you. All right, all right. thanks a lot, Glenda and yeah. Dave. And you know what? Keep in mind, I mean, we're all having fun here tonight, yeah. but a lot of money has been pumped into our community tonight with everybody here and all of the hotels that are being uh, booked. The restaurants right. are going to be booked tonight. I think it's like $27 million that will be spent during the auto show just in our economy. It's, it's a win-win. The, the, the Detroit does well. The automotive industry does well. The, I mean, the people of Detroit do well. I mean, it's just a great thing. And we look yep. good. Don't we? We do look good. Well, at least no, one no, of us, I'm not talking about that. No, no, no. Really I'm good. talking no, about the city of Detroit, really. All right, one last poll for you tonight. Hope you've got your phones and tablets out right now. I take a look at this car. Brad's going to give us a closer look at it next. But we want to know in the meantime who would look best in the driver's seat of this little baby right here? Me, Carolyn, or Brad? Who do you think? <laughs> Cast your vote oh, on oh, WXYZ.com slash vote. Find out next. Oh, you're winning. So many cool concepts and luxury vehicles to look at around every corner here at the Auto Show. It's hard to pick a favorite. Oh, I've been thinking about some. Brad's been the lucky guy, though, to be able to roam around a few of the hottest cars on the show. And Brad, where are you right now and what's the buzz on that? The Infinity <coughs> Q Inspiration. This is unbelievable. You can see people coming through here taking pictures throughout the night. And what really makes this so special, it's what I love coming to the Auto Show as a kid and seeing. It's a concept car. The wheels light up. It's a coupe style deal here, but it's a four-door concept car with a swooping rear and the panoramic glass roof. 
that stretches the length of the entire body from the windscreen. The doors open up simultaneously. People can't stop gawking at this car. It is a car of the future. There are two other cars that I picked out that I think everybody's drooling over. The Lexus F1 Limitless. It's like liquid silver. Concept cars, again, what I love to see, the LED headlights, the glass roof, it's truly a look at what's next. And the GAC car from China entering the market in 2019, they have made a huge mark today by showing everybody the car that opens up with those doors that fly up to the ceiling. Really, really, really neat to see what China is bringing to the market here. That's what we have our eyes on. I know we've got a big poll, guys. What are you looking at there with the results of that? I won't be surprised if it's Carolyn, Steven. Well, you know, this is not even fair, okay? I would love to be behind the wheel of the car. Brad would love to be behind the wheel of the car. But people are, are asked to vote on a very simple question. Who would look best behind the wheel? Now, I'm going to ask you the question. Who would look best anywhere, behind any wheel, <laughs> anytime? Anyway, listen Carolyn to wins 67%. Well, well, thank you. That's cool. Thank you for voting, and thank you for voting for me. How about that? All right, let's head over to the Bridgestone Red Carpet with Dave and Glenda. You guys look wonderful tonight. Oh, Carolyn, thank you so much. And a big night it is. One of our big sponsors for Channel 7 Family Day and just a real champion for the community. Steve Tronstein here with us. Steve, thank you so much for joining Rachel's us. Rachel's with us as well. And impressions of the show. The show is unbelievable. This is the biggest crowd I've ever seen, and I've been coming for 20 years. This is just awesome. It's another great year in Detroit. Always looking up, looking better this year than last, and last year was great as well. So Gardner White, a big sponsor behind Family Day. Talk about the picture package and everything that people have to look forward to. Well, next Friday we're sponsoring Family Day down here and families can come down. We're going to be giving away a big picture package, which is going to be a living room with tables and lamps and a rug and a 55-inch TV. And it's just, it's a pleasure to come down. We want people to come down and enjoy the auto show. It's a great Detroit event. And come to Gardner White, too, because we have lots of friends. And we want to thank Channel 7 for working for us year in, year out. It's a pleasure every year to do this. So appreciate you touching lives. Proud of him. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to do so. Thank you. Rachel, Steve, thank you so much. Thank you for the partnership. And uh, it's going to be another great WXYZ Family Day here at the Auto Show, just as it's a spectacular night this evening. Alicia, Malcolm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, my um, goodness. Right. This is amazing. <laughs> We're right now experiencing the Virtual Reality Lab 4D experience at the Chevrolet exhibit. I can't see Malcolm, because uh, right now I'm seeing the uh, Milford Proving Grounds. And we're getting ready <laughs> to go underwater, and I gotta tell you, this looks real. The driver is right there. And, uh, oh my goodness. Whoa, whoa we oh, just got splashed with water. You got a 360 degree view of everything. This is a bird's eye view. There's a. Uh, I think that was an equinox that was just that below was, us oh, we're about to in have a, a collision right here. This is amazing. Okay, you want to talk about the excitement that you have at the auto show. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I think this just I might feel the be, vibration. this might take the cake right here. We just I got into just a light stopped. collision right now. There was a crash test dummy involved there, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> so this is, yeah, this is totally like an amusement park ride. I right. think we're in Yuma, Arizona, yeah, and I may have grounds. felt a rattlesnake uh -oh. at my legs. This is amazing. There's a string, I've been told it makes it feel like there's a rattlesnake down there. Whoa, we're going up And now mountain. we're getting ready to go up Dynamite Hill. We're going to do you this gotta all You gotta try this. You this gotta try this. <laughs> No hands. <laughs> 58 oh degree goodness. incline. This is amazing. Stephen and Carolyn, you guys oh, gotta try this. I've done that actually. There's oh. nothing funnier though than watching other people put on virtual headsets. It was a lot of fun though. Wasn't it, it was it? actually fun. See? Hey, thank you so much. That was great. Yes, it was. Well, here with us tonight is Rob Castellou, president and CEO of St. Joseph Mercy Health System, which has five hospitals and health centers across Metro Detroit. Rob, thank you so much. Always great to see you here at the auto show. This is one of the great energetic fun events. Hey, we love being here. Now, you guys have had a good year. I know recently you guys combined with Mercy Health in West Michigan. Now you are one of the unified state uh, statewide health systems, that the biggest around. Yeah. Tell us what this means for us. Well, it, you know, our, our other system, that Trinity, we're part of Trinity right. Health, which is an, uh, one of the largest national systems in the country. And what a lot of people don't know is that Trinity Health is headquartered in Michigan, in Livonia. And we have two regions in Michigan that came together, St. Joe Mercy Health System and Mercy Health. 
talk a little bit about healthcare delivery, especially with all of the changes with the Affordable Care Act and all of the reforms that are going on right now. Yeah, you know, there doesn't a day doesn't go by where you have to read about what's going on in Washington and uh, repeal, replace, all that kind of stuff. And the way we feel about it is we can't let healthcare be dictated by what happens in politics. We have to still go for what matters, and that is health. And so we figure no matter what they do in legislation, as long as we try to keep people healthy and out of hospitals, we're doing our job. Well, you do a good one. Rob Castle, we thank you so very much for stopping by. You picked a favorite car out there yet? Uh, my wife is picking out her car right now. There you now. go, perfect. Yeah, we're working on that. Oh, thank you. Nice to see you as uh, always. Thank, thank you, Rob. You. Always a pleasure to see thank you. you. There are so many fun things to experience here at the auto show, like the virtual reality. Oh, yeah, that was out. cool. That is excellent. We're going to give you a sneak peek at where you can do a carpool karaoke and build a Lego race car driver to take home with you. Can't wait to see that. I need you to hurry up now, because I can't wait much longer. I know I got to be. There's a car for you right there. A race car unveiled this week. IndyCar showing off a sleek new series car for the 2018 season. Now, this new design eliminates the wheel guards and the boxy look. Now, look how fast that looks. I love that. You can check it out on the racetrack when IndyCar comes to Belle Isle for the Chevrolet Detroit Grand Prix on June 2nd and 3rd and watch race coverage right here on Channel 7. That's always a fun that's, time for us. That's supposed to make more passing and more competitive on Belle Isle, so wait for that car to show up in Belle Isle. It's going to be great. We'll certainly be talking about it. Meantime, Keenan and Ann Marie have been racing around the show. <laughs> Room floor tonight. All right, what kind of fun are you guys having right now? Well, you know, Stephen and Carolyn, the North American International Auto Show is known for all the things you can see, but also all the things you can get your hands on. And of course, what kind of auto show would let you get your hands on some cars? You up for a race? Let's go. Let's do it. There you go. Three, two, one. All right, it's going to scan my face. The future is now with facial recognition in this Toyota Concept I. The car is driving itself. It relaxed my seat. I'm being massaged. This is worth the price of admission alone. How cool. And Toyota says this should be available in 2020. The Toyota Concept I experience is definitely a must-see here at the Auto Show. This is the closest thing to a self-driving car with an assistant I have ever seen. Check this out. And done. Looks pretty good, right? It took me about 10 minutes. Well, let's go check out something a little easier for the kids here at Ford. Here at Ford, kids can build a Ford Performance Lego driver. We start with the legs. And then we have to pick the perfect body and, of course, the hair. There we go. And now she's ready to drive. Here's your big chance to show off your pipes with Cadillac's Carpool Karaoke. And, of course, if you get a chance, you have to race the Dodge Demon. Here we go. Okay, it was fun. For so many of us, it's about the need for speed and some healthy competition. Oh, hey, Detroit Grand Prix, Indy 500, and race-winning team owner Bobby Ray Hall. Yeah, hey, Marie, you want to race? Let's go. Oh, you like really? driving a real race car? Uh, no, because you don't feel it. It's racing. It's not quite like the real thing, but it's racing and it's fun. Wow, that was rough. You know, you may be able to drive, but you cannot sing. I absolutely won that race. I might not be able to sing, but I just kicked your butt. Uh, well, we'll see. <laughs> Stephen and Carolyn, I need a rematch. We'll, we'll catch up with you guys later. Uh, let us know who wins. All right, we'll, we'll do. All right, thank you, guys. <laughs> well, congratulations to Ryan LaFontaine and Bill Galling, the chair and vice chair of the North American International Auto Show. What a successful charity event you've had right now. I mean, l let us know how many tickets were sold, how much did you make, where does it go? So we're beating last year. We don't have the exact total. We were over 13,000 tickets sold. We were over $5.1 million wow. for local charities. Our goal was $5 million. We exceeded it. It's awesome. Look around. The cars are the stars, but everyone's enjoying themselves dressing up. Wow, Bill, I know it took three months to put this together, but for children's charities, this means so much to so many. It's $118 million has been raised at the auto show since 1967. 
unbelievable. Yeah. He's unbelievable. Now I was joking with him earlier this week. I said his job now because next year he's in charge. He yeah. is. He gets to he's figure out how you screwed up this year and fix it hey, next year. Big shoes to oh, fill. Oh, I gotta tell you, big yeah. shoes to fill. He'll do a great job. Any well. any tips on next year? Anything that we can expect? Uh, gotta go bigger, right? Gotta go bigger and better. How do you get bigger, bigger than this? So, well, you sit here and expand automobile even more. You grow that. You see, you get more global reveals, and then you raise more money for what matters. The city of Detroit, local charities, right in the backyard. And the people are so happy. I mean, 1,600 jobs to put oh, yeah. this together, 400 million on the showroom floor. I mean, just amazing for the community and all of the money that's been pumped into the hotels and restaurants, and we look good. It's almost two Super Bowls. Oh, almost yeah. the equivalent of two Super Bowls. So if you look at it, it's over $450 million of gross revenue contributed, obviously, in the city of Detroit. That was last year. We're pacing around four. 75 this year, but think about all the new hotels, oh, the yeah. new restaurants, yeah. Mayor Duggan, all the civic leaders, they've done an amazing job. Detroit's back, we're proud to be and part of it. 90% booked on a night like this Isn't for all it amazing? the hotels. Yeah. Oh. And Bill says it's like two Super Bowls, we know there's not going to be another Super Bowl coming, so we might as well take this one. Hey, hey, whoa, Lions are coming say, back, Lions are coming back. This is the year, this is the year. I'm a believer. Yes, I'm a believer too. Hey, you guys have done a great job, we want to thank you so much, Thank you so much, thank you so very much. Thank you so much for having us. We appreciate Great party. It. Great right. party. You look stunning year. tonight, right. by the way. But she, and nobody ever even notices me. You look <laughs> handsome as well. Thank you. As I say, Mona Lisa frame. Hey, it's all a right. lot of fun. Listen, you can come down to see all of the beautiful vehicles tomorrow. Public days for the auto show go through January 28th. And bring the whole family on down next Friday. We have WXYZ Family Day. You can meet all your favorite Channel 7 personalities from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. right in the riverfront atrium. And matter of fact, I am going to be singing some songs down there again, and I will wear my boots. Yeah, so come be a front row fan and cheer Stephen Owen. We can't wait to hear him sing. We will be right back. And this is Detroit's Night to Shine. Welcome to the North American International Auto Show Charity Preview. You don't get much time to enjoy the park, do you? No. I'm more interested in the concrete. Carolyn Clifford, thanks for hanging with us. And I'm Stephen Clark as we count down to the green flag. Welcome to our celebration of a milestone, the 25th anniversary of the North American International Auto Show. We're sitting right now here in the shadow of the Rensen building. Thank you, Detroit, for joining Channel 7 for the Woodward Dream Cruise. Good evening and welcome to Taking Action for Detroit. I'm Stephen Clark. All right. Woo! I think that's going to put the final note on it for us. I think we've done enough lead foot tonight. I want to go lead foot in the left lane. Time to go from losing your way. Well, my friend, I don't want to get teary eyed. This is our seventh charity I know. preview together. Lucky seven. Oh, I love working with you, and I know Thank you, you so are much. retiring, my friend. We're going to miss you for sure, your leadership, your presence, and just having fun with you at all of the events that we do together. The Wilbur Dream Cruise. Yep. I mean, driving the Belle race cars Isle. on Belle Isle. I know. I think what I'm going to do next year, though, I'm going to buy a ticket, though, and I'm going to come stand right behind you, and I'd say, hey, Carolyn, come put me on TV. Everyone will be so happy to hear that for sure. Well, I do appreciate This has been wonderful being a part of this because, for me, it's the, the rebirth of Detroit. The automotive industry had some down times during the time I was here. It's bounced back bigger, stronger, better than ever. And I'm so happy to have been a part of that as a as a broadcaster in this town and be able to bring that great news to the people of Detroit. And glad you've been my partner. I heard so many people saying, Stephen, you can't go, don't go. But uh, we know we're going to miss you. Your your favorite ride is right oh, back there. Oh, you giving the that bullet. to me? Oh, hey, this is wanna, my party we, gift? We, yes, we can hop oh, on there. Oh, man, this is great. Thank you and so much. And take a ride. But before we do that, let's head on over to Malcolm and Alicia for one last oh. spin of the floor. I tell you what, Carolyn, I think we could see Stephen driving out of the Broadcast News parking lot, uh, Broadcast House parking lot, in this beautiful Hot Wheels 50th edition Chevy Camaro. But don't ride off in the sunset just yet because there's plenty of partying to be done. Are you having a you good time? Ready to party? Keenan and Anne Marie. We have had a blast here all evening at Fiat Chrysler. Oh, that's right. There's so much to do, so much to see. We couldn't leave without at least touching the 2018 uh, Jeep Cherokee Trackhawk, the most powerful SUV of all time. Speaking of leaving, Stephen Clark, we love you, we adore you, and we certainly are going to miss you. But we want to check in now with Dave and Glenda.
Well, he needs one last stroll down the red carpet, that's for sure. And when Mich Michigan is here, you know it's a good time. Have a good time tonight. I'm having a great time, yeah. It's so exciting. Wonderful. We've had a fabulous we, time. We have a wonderful we evening, have. doing a lot of good for a, a lot of people. Yes. The cars are great as Thank well, you. and uh, all the ladies in the fashion, fabulous evening. Brad? So we have been telling you the concept cars have been in semi-automatic driving cars. I gotta be honest though, my wife is here with us, and Claire, what have you said all night that we have to go shopping for? A minivan. Very true, we gotta find Matthew's next car, a little seventh month old's gonna be in a minivan. Love you guys, Steve and Carolyn. All right, thank you, Brad. Well, my friend, this is our last go right here on the auto show floor, and it's well, been great. If I have to go to the auto prom with anybody, you are my favorite date. Aw, thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. That's our time, thank you all so very much for joining us. See you next year. Have a great night. Hair and makeup service provided by Vision Spa Salon. Gowns by Roma Sposa. I'm a dangerous man with some money in my pocket. Keep up. So many pretty girls around me and they're waking up the rock. Keep up. Why you mad? Fix your face. Ain't my fault they all be jacking. Keep up.